right, Algebra 1, Lesson 33. This one is on products of prime numbers and then also statements about unequal quantities. Okay, so let's start off with the products of prime factors. Um, up to this point, um, we have been doing prime factors like a factor tree, okay? And so do you remember how to do this? Yep, two numbers. You pick two numbers. 18 and 2. Okay, <laughs> I wouldn't have picked those at all, but that's good. Okay, is there any prime factors for this? Uh, yeah, you can two is prime. Two is one, yeah. right? Okay, and then so then we keep breaking it down. Nine, two. Nine times two, two, two is a prime three. factor. Three and three. Okay, I'm gonna look at these. And then three and three. Yep. Is for nine. Three and three, and both of those are prime factors. Mm -hmm. So the prime factors that make up thirty-six are two times 2, times 3, times 3. And that gets rid of all of them. So if we multiply 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 3, 12, 12 times 3, 36. That's how that works. So these are the prime factors, and so that's prime factorization. All right, now, you're going to learn how to do that um, with numbers um, like this. So you've learned this before, and they're actually teaching you a new way. Um, I think it's just as good to, just to do it like we're used to doing it. So let's do 80. 40 and 2. 40 and 2. Okay. 20 and 2. 20 and 2. Okay. 10 and 2. 10 and 2. Okay. Up, go again. And 5 and 2. What is up? Sorry about that. Let's just leave this back up. Just. All right, we're going to try this again. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Okay, so then 5 and 2. All right, and so the prime factorizations for this one would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, good. All right, let's do one more. 147. This one's a little bit harder. So just think to yourself, what number do you think? I'm going to pick 7 just because it ends in 7, so I'm thinking it might work. Okay? So 7 times something. So let's go 7 and 147. And that's 21. 21 and 7 equals that. 7 is a prime number. This is 7 and 3. Seven and three both are prime numbers. So this one will be 3 times 7 times 7. Okay? All right, now let's move to statements about um, unequal quantities, okay? And they're trying to teach you a different way on this one, too. Um, it's, not, it's not important. It's actually more confusing than it is beneficial. So I'm going to do it the way we've been learning, okay? It says twice a number. I'm just going to put number for number time. Um, twice a number is 42 less than negative 102. Then it says, find the number. Okay, so help me out. How would you do this? Uh, you start with the two in. Tw two in, twice a number. Twice a number is? Um, one oh, negative 102. Negative minus 102 42. minus 42. He did that exactly right. Whenever you see 42 less than, um, a number, you always want it to be to the right of that number because then this says negative 102 minus 42. 42 is less than this number, so it needs to come after because it's less than that. Got it? So we would just then go from here and try to find out what n is. Okay? So I would go in and answer 102 um, minus 42, which is plus a negative, which ends up being what? 144. Yep. Negative 144 equals 2n. And now this says 2 times n. Divided by 2. So since this is times 2, we're going to move it across, and it'll be divided by 2. And then e and n equals? It would equal 70, um, 72. 72, yes. Negative 72. Negative 72, once we get our answer. Okay, see how you do that? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're not going to finish out the rest of the problem from here. We're just going to come up with the equation. Okay? So let's listen to this equation. Here's what it says. 5 times the number is... 72 greater than the opposite of the number. How would you write this? 5 times the number. Oh, 5. 5 yeah, in. 5 in, yeah. 5 times in, or you can put 5 times like that, 5 times in, is 72 greater than the opposite of a number. 
72 plus negative n. Okay, but because it's 72 greater negative than plus something n. Okay, so the opposite of a number, opposite of a number, negative n, and then it's 72 greater than that, plus 72. Okay? So that's how you would work that, and then you would eventually try to find just n, even though you have this negative um, sign in front of it. Okay, the answer would actually just be the n, not the negative. You understand that? What I mean by that? Yeah. Okay, so if it helps you, um, you might want to put a 1 right there or something like that, um, but eventually you'll get this, okay? So how would I actually work this if n's here and n's here? What do you think? Well, if I bring... Well, you could it'd be like a negative 1 in. Negative 1 in. So then you could put the 1 on the other side. So it's, negative you, can put, one you can move from one to the other side, which would make it positive one in, which would be okay. six in. So this would be one in plus, right? Be six in equals right. Six in. Then you would be able to work it out. Okay? So that's important that you know what to do here. That's a negative one in or negative in is which is there's one in there, so we went on and made it one. And then when we move it over, we would get six in and then six in equals so seventy-two. Very good. Okay. Now Alright, now let's do another one. If the sum of twice a number, if the sum of twice a number, if the sum of twice a number and negative 14 is multiplied by 2, the result, I'm just trying to write this quickly, is 12 greater, 12 greater than the opposite of the number, than opposite of the number. Okay, let's break this down. Two if n. the sum of, the sum of what? 2n plus negative Twice a number, 2n, and negative 14. We're trying to find the sum of twice a number and negative 14, and negative 14, is multiplied by 2. You do like the quotient. Yes, we're going to multiply that, that whole thing by 2. Is This is multiplied by 2. The result is, which means equals, negative n plus 12. 12 greater than the opposite of a number. The opposite of a number is negative n, and then it's 12 greater than that plus 12. Got it? Mm -hmm. So we would do this, get our answer, 4n. Plus, do this, get negative 28 equals negative 1n plus 12. Okay? The and then we would move. The the very side. good. We would make this negative 1n to a positive 1n, and then this negative 28 to a plus positive 28, and that gets rid of that, and that gets rid of that. And then we have 1n plus 4n, which equals 5n, and then 40. 12 plus 40. 28 is 40. And then n would be 8. Okay? That was just a quick little version of that. Alright? Um, and then we have one more. Make sure you're getting it. Okay? 5 times a number. 5 times a number. Is 21 less than twice the opposite of a number? Okay? Okay, time out. Um, 21 less than, so we know it's... Minus 21 of something. Twice the opposite of a number. So I'm going to put opposite of a number twice that, which ends up being negative 2n. You're right. Okay? Minus 21 equals 5n. Okay? We bring this across the equals, so it becomes 5n plus 2n equals negative 21. 7n equals negative 21. And this is 7 times n, so we divide by 7, and n equals negative 3. Got it? Yeah. All right, that is lesson 33.